wanted to shoot a short little video today on uh, an instrument that I have, and uh, thanks to our viewer, you guys are great. Um, so I have a Keithley 2400. I don't show it very often in my videos. It's uh, probably one of the fanciest pieces of equipment that I have, and I and I I don't I don't use it enough, and I kind of avoid it. Um, on my channel because I know um, you guys will never be able to afford one of these things. I was really lucky to get one. Um, they are just they are just wonderful um, source measurement unit. But my viewer um, noticed that my display uh, was not doing very well. When I got it, it had had been been burned in. Um, these are vacuum fluorescent displays, and you can get if if you leave it on a particular. Uh, setting for a very long time, you'll 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 degrade the phosphors and you'll get a burn in, and so mine has real extensive extensive burn in. So a viewer in Ireland of all places said he actually had an extra one, and would I like it? Well, of course I want it. <laughs> um, so he sent it over, and uh, you need to take the instrument apart, and the board on the front panel comes out, the display and the key keyboard uh, comes out as a unit. Now, the the board itself has all of the drive electronics for display, but the display is not a simple interface. It's lots and lots and lots of connections. Uh, there are these two sections of staggered uh, pin. I didn't bother counting the pins. There's just a ton of them. And so this is going to be a real nerve-wracking uh, process of uh, desoldering all of these, trying to remove it. I, I kind of wanted to take it out as one piece. Instead of clipping the leads and taking them out one by one, I wanted to bring it out as a complete unit in case the display he sent me wasn't compatible. It was a little bit of an issue there, but it seems like it's okay. So um, the display he sent is in the upper part there, and it is a, just a tiny bit different in the pinout, but uh, it should be okay. And instead of the leads being staggered, they're all in a straight line. So I had to, by hand, stagger all of the leads so it would fit the uh, the PC board pattern. Um, so yeah, that was, a, that was a bit of a work. So I did end up desoldering the other uh, display and did get it out in one piece. And here it is. Everything came out great. The holes, luckily the uh, the PC board layout, the, the holes in the pads were large enough that it was easy to desolder. Sometimes when the holes are too small, they're hard to desolder, but these were good size holes. And after a lot of nerve wracking uh, work, trying to get all of those little wires back into all of those little holes, I did get it working. And so um, here is uh, the before, and here is the after. It is gorgeous. So thanks again to uh, my viewer in Ireland. And uh, now my, my instrument's looking great.